it's a uh, night before my day of travel I'm so exhausted yesterday I had to disassemble my whole bed it was so crazy and so hard but I'm glad I'm done now I'm just you can see my room is pretty much empty everything is empty it was so difficult it was like ripping off a bandage because I can only fix stuff into two suitcases so I pretty much either sold stuff gave it away or threw it away and some things like I had to throw this evening because I realized I was above uh, my luggage limit even after paying for excess luggage <sighs> but I just said you know what Linda these are material things whatever you give away you can buy back but it was so difficult like my bathrobe I like my bathrobe anyway Uganda here I come so I reached Stockholm <laughs> I'm excited super super excited um, I have a waiting period here of about three hours then I head to at uh, Dubai and then home so the journey continues but I went to the airport really early like a whole hour early because I prefer to go early and then you wait you know I guess checking out my hat <laughs> How we be in these streets wearing hats and what have you since I'm going back to sunshine <sighs> I have a lot of baggage I'm really worried that I mean, let me not say it but let's see how it goes at the check-in desk <sighs> thank god this airport is not so big I mean, so I'm in Dubai right now. Uh, shout out to Emirates. They really take care of their people. Like if you have an overnight flight, they put you up in a hotel with breakfast and everything. Check out my hotel room. Fancy, 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 fancy. Let's check out the bathroom. Uh, it's okay. Basic, fancy, fancy. Hi. <laughs> <sighs> Okay, this is my last stop before I head out to Entebbe. I'm too happy, but I'm also tired. It's like midnight 30 here. I think. I think in Kampala it's also midnight or something. It's coming to one. <sighs> I have to sleep now. Oh, but Entebbe, here I come. Uh, oh my gosh it's so hot here it's midnight and it's 34 degrees crazy crazy hot it's really hot here uh, and I'm gonna take a shower and just sleep because I'm too tired <sighs> morning Heading to my heading to my gate now. Um, last night was nice. It was nice to really get like at least I think I got like five hours of sleep. Took a shower, rushed for breakfast. I was a bit late, so I had like 15 minutes to eat my breakfast. Not because of anything, it's just that I did a bit of stretching, a bit of yoga today morning. Because flying, you can't get blood clots if you just are in a sitting position all the time. So I did some stretching which took longer than it should have. So now I'm gonna go through my gate. Then I have like two hours to my flight. So you know, I'll go through duty free. <laughs> go through things I can't afford to buy, but what else is there to do at a Dubai airport apart from go through the expensive stores and see clothes. <laughs> but one day I'll be able to afford. But you know, it's that life. What can you do? So I'm at my final gift.
uh, before I walk in and a few things have happened it's quite interesting one it's like my shirt has caused a bit of a stir because I'm here in Dubai and it's like people keep passing past my men saying nice shirt I like your shirt especially in a place like this blah 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 so my shirt says Jesus is God and I dare you tell me otherwise and I didn't think about when I wore it I just wore it for I like the shirt and I like the message I didn't think oh I'm going through Dubai let me wear it but then again guys in Dubai are chill like as long as you're not breaking any laws they don't care like go through do you I know but I don't know when everyone when, I, when about three people today have passed by this morning have pointed out my t-shirt it gave me so many feelings it's like am I offending anyone or am I moving like I'm trying to make a statement or should I make a statement or isn't it a bit like judgmental to assume that just because I'm in Dubai an Arab country or Muslim country that I don't have the freedom to like do they assume people here will attack me or something anyway another thing is my jacket so apparently I was told by my brother and his in-laws that you're not allowed to wear camouflage in Uganda. Have you guys ever heard of that? I don't think I've ever heard of that. Anyway, I'll tell you guys when I reach in Terry what happened. Otherwise, I've never heard of that. But we'll see. It's my favorite jacket. Mm. Hey, it's a new way of vlogging, my friend. Hey, it's the future. Put on up there. I've arrived in Uganda! You guys, let's walk to the car. <laughs> the worst thing in life is to arrive from a two-day two journey Kajina, and there's no one to pick you up at the airport. Then you have to sit and remember. At least their guy is coming to pick you. <laughs> so these are the culprits. Who picked me late? Mm. You know, I'm happy to be home. I'm happy to be in paper. Entebbe. I'm happy to be in Uganda. See the weather? Recognize perfect weather. Okay, no, actually, today is a bit hot. Eh? What's this? Like 27? It's really, really hot. It's hot. Okay. Not so perfect, but near perfect. Do you recording?